Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash Civil Engineer. In this video, I'm going to discuss about river training works. One of our friends has requested a video on river training. See, I cannot give you the complete idea of river training, but I can give you the basic concept or the basic idea behind the river training works. So with my explanation, if you understand the basic concept of river training, please hit like button and please subscribe my channel and share it with your friends. So what is river training? What is the meaning of the word training? Training is nothing but you are guiding something. So what is river training? You are guiding a river to flow in a certain path or something like so why why we have to guide a river because in the moment of the river the river also moves the bed load the suspended load also moves along with the flow of the river the dissolved load also moves with the flow of the river all these three move with different velocities so when the flow the velocity of the flow is very high it erodes the naturally available bed when the velocity of the flow is less it will result in accumulation of the bed load and suspended load at a certain place which will result in the depth reduction of the depth of the water level so the river training works are those which will maintain the appropriate depth which will also protect the erosion of the bed they are called as river training works so the objectives of the river training works are these so this will help in discharge of high floods to pass safely and quickly this will help in sediment load and suspended load to be transported safely to make the river course stable and reduce the bank erosion to maintain sufficient draft for navigation see this is what i said when the sediment gets accumulated at a certain place like suppose if it gets accumulated to this extent the draft available is only this much which may not be sufficient for navigation so river training works are such works which will maintain the draft necessary draft for navigation this to a certain extent we can also fix the direction of the flow here we have classification of river training works they are classified based on high water training low water training and mean water training high water training of uh, deals with when there is excessive discharge when there are floods the river training works which will help which will deal with the high discharge or during the time of floods they such works fall under this category of high water training low water training works are nothing but when the, the depth is not sufficient for the navigation such works fall under this low water training and the most important one mean water training is nothing but this deals with the safe movement of sediment load and the suspended load this is the important river training work which will directly or indirectly will affect the high water training and low water training so i'm just going to give you the brief uh, about the types of river training works i'm not going to go in depth of these river training works we have embankments guide bank systems groins and sp or spurs or dikes bank protection and pitch railings bridging and bendaling see these are different types of river training works uh, depending upon the site depending upon the condition each one is selected so first of all get clear about the concept of river training why we need the river training because we have to maintain the su sufficient depth of water we have to maintain 
proper bed the bed should not get eroded that is the basic concept of river training works and see here first one is embankments these are the embankments and this is the bed so during the high flood level hfl during the high flood level these embankments protect the low laying areas here so this deals with the high flood level this is a high water training and next we have guide bank system so suppose a area is lying here and the water is flowing in this direction so here you are restricting the passage of the river directly you are restricting the passage of river you are only allowing the river to pass only through this area you are restricting the width of the river so you are protecting this area this is called as guide bank system this concept is designed by bell this he, he is a he designed this concept so this is also called as bell bank system and next we have groins or spurs or dikes or transfer stakes all mean the same above to the embankments and guide bank systems are in parallel direction with the river flow whereas this is in transverse direction with the river flow they are perpendicular to the direction of the river flow and these groins or spurs uh, they are classified based on three types based on method of construction and based on the height of the spur below or above the water and classification based on the function it serves uh, these are how they look like see this repelling groin uh, what they do is nothing but they increase the level of water on the upstream side and they direct the sediment or the suspended silt content to an extent so this is a low water training work and these are the special types of spurs or groins uh, hockey or inverted hockey or t shaped spurs and next we have the bank protection and pitch rail lines see uh, we almost find at the banks of the rivers what these pitching or pitch rail lines do is uh, they protect the bed from erosion while you are having an excessive flood it is very much abrasive on the or uh, on the natural bed it erodes the naturally available bed so what we do is we pitching we pitch it with stone blocks so this will protect the naturally available bed and next we have dredging this dredging will help in maintaining the level of water either you excavate the naturally available bed to increase the level of water or you deposit then or you excavate at a some place and you deposit at a certain place to reduce the depth that is called as dredging this is done with a special type of machine called as a dredger these are different types of dredgers this dredging will help in maintaining the level of water and these are different types of dredgers and next we have bundling bundling is nothing but this is a different or as this is a special type of structure which is transversely constructed into the river which is perpendicular to the flow of the river this is the structure is either made with rcc this can also be made with bamboo sticks this is inserted into the bank these are permeable in nature the water flows through these structures but they guide the sediment load and the bed load this guide the sediment load and suspended load 